In the heart of Brooklyn, four friends, Maya, Sam, Lila, and Danny spent their afternoons in Danny's garage stitching, designing, and dreaming. The vibrant, diverse neighborhood with its mosaic of cultures and stories was a daily inspiration. Each of them harbored dreams of owning a clothing company that reflected their world, a fusion of Brooklyn soul, diversity, and street style. However, realizing this dream was no easy feat, money was the first hurdle. They were too young to take out loans and their lemonade stand profits were a joke. One day, Lila came up with a plan, a pop-up stall at the local flea market. They would sell custom made patches and designs. Hours were spent sourcing cheap materials, learning to perfect their embroidery and promoting their stall. Their first day yielded a mere $20, but their spirits weren't dampened. Instead, they were more determined than ever. The next challenge was mastering their craft. Maya, the primary designer, often found herself heiressing designs riddled with self-doubt. Sam, responsible for sourcing materials, struggled to find quality fabrics on their shoestring budget. Lila, in charge of sales and marketing, found it challenging to gain traction in a saturated market. And Danny, the heart of the operations, was constantly repairing their secondhand sewing machine, which seemed to break down every other day. But with every challenge, their bond grew stronger. Late night sewing sessions turned into brainstorming meetings fueled by pizza and dreams. They sought mentorship from Mrs. Alvarez, the elderly seamstress from down the road, who taught them the intricacies of the trade. They also found allies in their customers who loved their passion and began to spread the word. Disaster struck one winter afternoon when a burst pipe in Danny's garage ruined rolls of recently purchased fabric and some finished designs. Devastated, they thought their dreams were washed away. Yet the neighborhood, having seen their tenacity and passion, rallied around them. A crowdfunding campaign was started. Local businesses offered spaces for them to work. And soon, they had not only recuperated their losses, but had gained something more valuable a community that believed in them. With newfound vigor, they decided to enter a young entrepreneur's competition, which promised a substantial cash prize. Maya's designs now told their story of friendship, perseverance, and the spirit of Brooklyn. Lila's sales pitch was charged with their journey's emotions and the unique blend of cultures they represented. To everyone's surprise, they clinched first place. Using the prize money, they launched their brand, Back Threads. Their first line was a tribute to their journey. T-shirts imprinted with the Brooklyn Bridge interwoven with threads, representing their interlinked faiths in the community that supported them. The road was still fraught with challenges. Fake copies of their designs emerged. A huge consignment was delayed because of a shipping error. Yet with every challenge, they adapted and grew. They focused on sustainable local production, ensuring Mrs. Alvarez and other local talents were part of their success. In a few years back, threads became synonymous with authentic Brooklyn street style, the four friends, once dreamy-eyed kids in a garage, now ran a bustling storefront in downtown Brooklyn. Their story wasn't just about making it big, but about a dream nurtured by friendship, resilience, and a community that lifted them during their lowest lows. The heart of their brand was best described by a tag that adorned every piece of clothing, stitched with dreams, worn with pride, back threads from Brooklyn with love. The tale of these young entrepreneurs serves as a testament to the power of dreams, the strength of unity, and the magic that can happen when a community comes together. Smash that like button if you haven't, and if you have time, feel free to subscribe and check out my latest uploads. Enjoy. As always, co-fader way.